Oh, hey, howdy, hey, it's Turbul Selvor back with another tutorial at a viewer request, actually. So I've been playing through a game from 2003 known as Sid Meier's Pirates uh, Live the Life, a game that, quite frankly, has no business running on a modern Linux computer. So people asked me, I ran into some issues, and people were curious how I resolved them. So... If you're using Linux for any degree of gaming whatsoever, you're going to run into a situation where you're going to want to play a Windows game on your Linux machine, but uh, the assholes over Windows don't make it easy. So what you have instead is various compatibility layers. So the probably the most famous of them is Wine, which is what we're using here. Uh, but there's some cool forks, including Valves with uh, Proton. But we won't go into any of that because this is a graphical front end for Wine that makes everything so much easier. I've already done a video about Play on Linux, the one for nerds. So let's talk about Lutris, the one for people who are absolutely furries. So we got a Lutris right here. So all this is is a is a uh, is a piece of software for various launchers, right? And it has some built-in shit. You know, it can launch games from Steam. You can run native Linux games. It can do flat packs, shit like that. It can pull, like, data from other sites. I None of that's going to be covered in this tutorial. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about running shit with Wine. So, specifically, Sid Meier's Pirates game from 2003. Purchased it from GOG, goodoldgames.com. If you're going to be playing any game that's, like, older and you want to run it on Linux, GOG's probably the way to go unless you have the OG material. And even then, like, I picked up Diablo 2 the other day from Wizards, and it still isn't... Uh, Still isn't working even with the CD, and that's on me for not having troubleshooted it. The, the problem I was having, right, is I would launch, try to launch a game, and then it would start, and then it would hang forever, okay? Um, what that, and it would hang forever specifically before loading the menu. So, when you have a game that doesn't work, and you're using Wine or some other runner that isn't, like, you know, an official one that you're supposed to be using, uh, what you get instead is, uh, you have to look at where it fails and figure out what the fuck went wrong. So, it's critical to note that I would launch it, it would load the opening movie, and then it would hang when trying to load the menu. Now... This is important because what does every fucking game do these days and has been doing for a hundred billion years? Why decorate the mouse, of course. So you can see here I got the default no mouse, except I made it big so you can actually see it on the screen for the purposes of the tutorial, right? But when you're in a video game, yeah, you might you might get some weird looking mice, right? It might like Baldur's Gate, it's like a hand and an armored like gauntlet. Uh, you know, in this game, it's like a little pirate dagger. Well, the problem was, is every time it was trying to decorate the fucking mouse, it was failing. Which tells me right away that it was it's something graphical related. So in Lutris, it's really nice because you can change wine settings. Just literally, you know, you pick one of these. And like, I'm going to run this on wine. And I'm just going to open up the wine configurator. Now, this is very similar to any other wine configurator. It's exactly the same. I'm using Lutris's version, which installed a bunch of random shit along with it in the prefix, I'm assuming. I was originally running in our good friend uh, Windows 10, right? Because it defaults to Windows 10. Whatever. So if you try and run in Windows 10, it wasn't working. So got to remember, the game I'm playing is from 2003. Windows 10 didn't exist. In fact, all the all the reasonable versions of Windows... Let's be realistic. There aren't that many reasonable versions of Windows. But basically, in 2003, what do you got? You got Windows XP... And you got whatever the fuck Windows 2003 is. I'm not familiar with that. But I, I played this game in the past on Windows XP. So what I do, I change it to Windows XP. Ah, simple. Ah, simple as. Gonna work just fine. No. Didn't work. Okay? And the reason for that is, although changing it to XP probably solved some of the problems, it did not solve the core problem, which is the graphics. So when you go into the graphics zone... Um, you're going to want to make sure, right, when it's hanging, like, on the menu like that, because it's trying to, you know, all the decorating of the mouse and shit, you want to make sure that the window manager that the game is using is capable of decorating shit. Otherwise, ain't going to work. So I did that. Still didn't work, right? And I'm like, oh, my God, this is just fucking, this is just killing me, right? Uh, so then I went to the staging tab. So the staging tab, uh, there's a lot of crap that goes on there. Okay, all all good. And I, I didn't have any of this enabled. So I enabled these two. So CSMT, I have no idea what the fuck that is. But enabling, unabling it, ah. CSMT, I have no idea what the fuck that is. But enabling it, 
disabling it, yeah, yeah, it works sometimes, but whatever. Uh, so I, I just usually just try clicking it on and off. But the other thing I knew about was like, oh, I got to enable Vappy. So good old, good old Vappy, basically, because I'm running an AMD graphics card. The Linux has good interaction uh, with those drivers. So enabling Vappy for uh, GPU decoding might work okay. Still didn't work, right? And I'm like, ah, I'm at, I'm at my wits fucking end here. What am I supposed to do? But one of the nice things about uh, Lutris, right, is there's more than just the wine configuration going on. So you can actually go some specific runner options in here, including altering your wine version on the fly. So as you can see, I'm using uh, Grand Agrol's version of wine. I'm using the uh, Wine G8 2686X64 that's the one that I like to use. Um, I've enabled all this D3D shit right here, but what I did was I disabled eSync and F-Sync. Now, eSync and F-Sync, I, I have had this explained to me a million times, and I don't fucking remember what it is, but you know what I do remember? Is if, I, uh, if a game doesn't work, try enabling or disabling it. So when I did that, shocker of shocks, it started working again. So we got here the little opening guy, the opening video. Now that's just playing a video. Hey, Linux can do that, no problem. So where it was hanging was here, okay? But when I disabled eSync and F-Sync, it's a 32-bit software running on a 64-bit system, and there's 32 gigs of RAM, but I can't, I can't see it. So just give it a sec. Come on, motherfucker. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you see there, all of a sudden it started working again. So you see this decorated mouse. You see these boxed-in windows. Part of it, too, is this game was built for a 5-4 monitor config, uh, aspect ratio, and obviously modern monitors are like 16-9 or whatever. So it looks like you got these black bars on the side, but uh, yeah, whatever. It wasn't going to display anything there anyway. And, of course, the final test would be to uh, load and see what happens. And I suspect, as always, uh, it'll do this thing where it hangs a little bit because it doesn't like the RAM. Bam. There we go. We're in-game now. It will move around. All that fun shit. So that's how I successfully made this work. Um, as you can see, uh, I didn't mess with the control schema at all. I disabled the numpad and now I can't turn. But that's okay. The thing here is is that all you got to do with Lutris is you can go in and just like change settings and see what fucking works, right? And I got to tell you right now, eSync, F-Sync, either are your friends or worst enemies depending on the software. I don't know, you know. As what it is. So that was what people asked about is like, how do you use Lutris? This is pretty basic, but if you wanted a more in-depth one, just tell me in the comments. I can like go through what it actually does. But all I did, that's what I did to get Sid Meier's Pirates to actually work after that fucking software update broke the video drivers. So uh, let me know in the comments what you think.